I don't know. But I was just happy to be there and look at pictures on the wall and be like, oh, it's cool, it's very cozy. And like, I was a nerd. And um, so that's how I got physically into the building. And then we went inside to one of the studios, and Eric Vail was there, and they were recording the hockey show. And at the time, like, I was, had a crush on Eric Vail's voice. So I had to, like, everybody my leg really right. hard so I wouldn't go <laughs> <get> so excited. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, it's Eric Vail. Uh, it's a similar experience, yeah. the first time I met you. Yeah, and Eric Hill's also really good looking. So, on top of that, I'm like, I love you, 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 Come on, go away. Uh, go away. Go away. Go away. He's like, you can kind of see like a light go off. Like, an actor. Like, all right, actor. In the get in the booth. Excuse me. And, um, so I get in there and I say a line, maybe twice, and it was even a mental line, so it was a max laugh or anything. Okay. I came out and he's like, that's great. Go so give your intro to Tara down the hall and he's working. I was like, huh? <laughs> Just like that. And I kept trying to give him my resume. He's like, I don't want that. Um, oh, we don't care. We don't care. Yeah, he just wants your phone number, okay? Um, at the time, they were about to start to close. And all of the shows that I had up until then had basically the same cast from episode to episode. And occasionally, a new character would show up. But now, to close, they have the same four people plus a new, like, five or six every other time. So their uh, actor pool had to increase exponentially, and I got in at the beginning of that. And that was I went to the tour on a Thursday, and I came in and recorded on a Sunday with, guess who my first director was? Chris Sabat. So <laughs> again, don't pee, Caitlin, don't pee. <laughs> but Peter won't eat you. Don't. <laughs> well, not a so, pee, no. Yeah, so that's, that's how it began. And, uh, wow. Chris Evans likes to joke with people that I came to the studio on a tour and, and they can't get me to leave. <laughs> so, I had to get married and be tempted to travel the world in order to get out of funny <laughs> You set up camp in the corner and yeah. you're like, they'll cast me eventually. Get out. That never happened. Yeah. Get out of here. You're my, no, my, no, 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 no. Give you a walk. Don't ever ask that again. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> that's, how it, that's how it happens. Ah, here you are. Uh, now you, <laughs> said, you, you mentioned being a fan of anime. Uh huh. Have you been a fan for as long as you can remember, or was there a certain point when you got into what? Was there any like key shows that that in, got you into? Yeah, in high school, I was really into Sailor Moon. Does everyone check out this awesome cosplay over here? Very, very nice. Everyone, so this is cosplay our hand. Come on. Very nice leg. Very, very nice leg. Not as good. That's amazing. Uh, okay. Uh, so I was really into that show because at the time Tsunami was just beginning, and that that was what I watched with my best friend and other friends. Um, and I was totally into it. And, uh, but before then, I'd seen anime and probably didn't know that it was anime. Yeah. Specifically, there was a show on Nickelodeon when I was a kid called like, Grim Fairy Tales or something like that. Anime. Yeah, I didn't know. I've never heard of that one before. Yeah, I'm you're going to dig it. It's like a 30 minute fairy tale thing, but it's anime style. <laughs> and then you have to work on it, Penny Oliver. Really? And when I found out, I was like, shut up! I love you even more! That's me. Cool. Yeah, so it's mostly Sailor Moon, and then whatever I could get my hands on. Yeah. Back in the day, the VHS What about what now? About? <laughs> I watched what kept sent to me, because I was like, <laughs> watching the thing on the front of YouTube channel, too fast. So I'm a little bit behind. I actually just finished watching Strike Witches, finally. Ah. And uh, it would be fun to be a part of. And uh, I have a backlog of things that I need to watch. Right. I can't watch. Because I'm in, I live in Spain and I can't watch it on the internet in Spain. So when it comes out on DVD, I don't know. Never watch it. I don't know. As either. well as Shiba Inu or Corpse Princess. Yeah. Never watch it. Now that I'm here, now that I'm here, I plan on going back to Spain with large uh, okay. buckets of Shiba Inu and Corpse Princess. Because it's the best way to like hear all you guys and hear all my friends. Oh. You feel like, oh, I'm that I love. You have souls. Yeah, but I'm in Spain. She prefers us. She prefers us as, as characters. 
<laughs> I prefer like the scary dude. I want to go to real DM. I'm like, shut up, dude. Like, hey, Terry, so here's your motivation. Uh, <laughs> So, we're going to have a conversation about what's going on in your life, but I need you to pretend that you're a high school girl with powers, okay? You're 15 years old, you throw a toy sometimes, and you have a crush on that boy, but he looks like he's a girl. So, then you're just a cold style. Okay, so, <laughs> what I was saying. Like, so, higher. I'm not a people, but a Not a people. Ladies have it. Well, sometimes make fun of them to do that. Oh, it's a record. 915. What? Mine is bigger, sir. What? Yeah, it's bigger. It is. It is. What are we talking about? What? I don't know. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, can we look at the uh, pages? No, uh, let me see. I have no idea. I am totally flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> Which is kind of what we always do on this Yeah, show. pretty much, pretty much. We're just really trying to really hard not to talk. Right? Oh, wait, <laughs> Caitlin's got a question. This guy's talking about breaking. This is really nice. It's uh, if there was ever a time Caitlin Glass got stung by a jellyfish and needed another voice actor to pee on her, I'd do that for you. To do the pain. No, I would be happy to do that. Who would she be most likely to go to? Where are you? Are you in Spain? Because good luck. Like, if you're not doing your voice actor, somebody's got to pee on me. Over the pee of a voice actor, we'll counteract the poison. <laughs> Has to be. Well, wow. yeah, the voice That's a great question. Do you have any, any, anybody you'd like to pee on you, Kevin? Um, <laughs> you killed the guy. Hey, you were looking at the question. I didn't think it was going to be something like that. I don't know. Can I tell you I have been stung by a jellyfish? Jellyfish? Yes. Yeah. So you've been peed on is what you're telling me. No, I did not. Who peed on you? Nobody, but I was in Jamaica and I, uh, both my husband and I got stung by a jellyfish. We kind of looked at each other and went, <laughs> yeah, it's really a really strange feeling. They weren't very big, they probably couldn't even find them. Little, the little blobby ones. So it was like a big, like, yeah. a big, like... No, it wasn't like Portuguese man of war, <laughs> or like a box jellyfish in Australia oh. chasing you in your head, something like that. But like, it feels bizarre. Like, it hurts like um, getting a shot, or like measles. But, um, they, I knew that it hit me like under my armpit or something like that, but it will hurt down your arm. It follows like the nerve. And then you feel it like... Oh, you walk around, you look like... It goes into the gate pop room. I felt it like across my chest. Not like... You gate pop room. I can't breathe, but like... Gosh, that's annoying! I wish it would stop! Did you just jump right out? Good golly! Yeah, you can't jump right out. Wait, wait, wait. I don't... When you're out of the water, you don't do it. And then the next day, or later that day, we went back in the water, and something about the salt in the sea water like reactivates it. I'm like, oh my god, I got, I got stung again. I didn't see it. Come on. Don't you guys hate us? Yes, they're out of the world. Ow! Oh, my God. Yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Why do you have everything? You don't even have a brain. It's just a bundle of nerves. Why do you hate so much? I thought of this scenario you're talking to the ocean. I do it all the time. I fight with the ocean. It's a big place. I like to personify it. It helps me get my head around. Oh, no. Well, I mean, it's about time to. We've squandered a perfectly good hour of people's time. I know. I can't believe you've been sitting here. Yeah, you guys. Thank you. We're very sorry. Oh, we have a heart. We have hearts all over the place. It's like a rainbow heart. Thank you. It's like a double rainbow. Well, thank you. Thank you for Thank you for coming. We're doing we're doing another one of these this afternoon with another guest, Charlie Mosier. Next time, we do have a website. Go to the Anime Overload. Yep. And you'll, you'll find our website. We've got about 21 episodes. Everyone from Brina Palencia, Brian Napier, we've interviewed them all, annoyed them all, them a couple times. Yes. So, yes. And I think some of them are rated, so be aware of that if you're listening to the Rousey Parents. The first or whatever. Yeah. So, they're really boring. 
Um, but yeah, you guys, you guys sitting here with us this afternoon got to be part of the you. first yeah. ever live recording of our show. So thank you very much. Yay. And of course, Woo. and let's give it up for our lovely guest, Caitlin Black. Here, my <laughs> and I guess with that, we'll say, after the way, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>